Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome to Diary, The Naked Truth, your experience, or rather my experience, I guess. Um, this is a mobile game, hence the like whole vertical screen thing and the Windows XP background, because I don't know what else to do with it. Um, it I, I'm, I'm noticing something that shouldn't really be a thing, I'm, I'm, I'm not liking it. Uh, the music is horror-esque, and the everything I'm looking at is not. It's like all pretty and happy and girly and pink, and then there's this music, and I don't know how to take it. Also, apparently the guys are naked. Butterfly surprise. Sure, let's do that. Dear Diary, We all know how hard it can be to ask your crush out for the first time. Being a girl, pursuing a boy was hard enough, but add being only five years old to the mix and you're concocted with quite the traumatizing memory. What? Should I be playing this? I don't feel like I should be playing this. The way this all unfolded is pretty crazy to say the least, hence why this story is one of my strongest childhood memories. Now this is your experience. Is it? This game has free content. You will have to no, pa no page checkpoints or lock routes. The tree outfit is also free. It's all free. Some of these perks can be permanent in future releases if you pledge for your campaign. Pledge for your campaign? Wait, wait what, do you, what do you mean my campaign? I thought this was like a, a Kickstarter thing. How? There's mini diary entry. I, um. Oh. Why can't I look like that? I don't want to do that. I'll go. We'll go this one. You got a free outfit. Yay! I was in kindergarten when my first when I had my first crush. The boy I liked was a bit of a was a tough boy. He was a bit bigger than the other boys as well. He wore his hair down with a split in the front where you could see his forehead. And if you're a '90s kid, you know what that kind of boy what kind of boy he was. I was a 90s kid, number one. Number two, I have no idea what you're talking about. But I, I, f I feel like this game isn't geared towards me specifically, and I'm lost. I, I, I'm a little lost here. I, I, I think, uh, I think this is, this is not gonna end well for me. He was like a kindergartner version of Aaron Carter. Who? Again, only 90s kids know what I'm talking about. But if you don't, you can search it later. This... <sighs> Gotta admit, Ryder, if you have to, like, ah, if you have to, like, specify something like that, I think, I think you need to, like, steer your writing a little differently. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not digging it right now. Not, like, to ruin your dreams of whatnot, of, like, writing a visual novel, but, like, eh, I don't know if this was, like, specifically aimed to, I don't know if this story was specifically supposed to be a visual novel, or if it's just, like, a testimonial. My crush's name was K.O., I can't remember, I can't use his name, which I still remember first and last. Okay, cool. K.O. was one of those boys that hated being made fun of and singled out. He always showed other kids that he was the boss when they you, when they ever called him names. Huh. So they were a bully and you had a crush on this kid? The fuck? Remember he made a boy cry when telling him he still poops in a diaper like a baby. He was so tough and manly to me, I don't know. That That's what I thought when I was at the age of five. Uh, I feel sorry for you, kid. Rather, you as a kid, because apparently you're older now. So one random day in class, I was prepared to tell K.O. that I liked him. I was so shy, and this was the first boy I liked. So I told him during... It'll probably be snack time, because you said during, so that would imply snack time. I told him during snack time. What? Is there a goth kindergartner? What the fuck? That's a thing? Okay, it's not like... Maybe got... Maybe emo? I, I don't know. I kind of assume, like, the the choker thing is a goth thing, and that haircut's a goth thing, but, like, dye it black? That make the chokers 
purple, maybe, and then the shirt black, and he, they're goth, and that's where I'm thinking. It's like, goth, but the parents wouldn't let them wear black. When I walked over to his table and his two friend, with his two friends, he stared at me. They all did as I took a seat next to him. <clears throat> I didn't know what to say, so I smiled. Then he said, Why are you sitting here? Oh, you're a demon. Okay. Uh, Ryder, why are you into demons as a kindergartner? <laughs> Not knowing what to say, all that came out was... I let out a... Giggle, I'm sure. Let out a giggle, and for some reason his face started to turn red. Like a demon's. Oh, laugh at me! He stood up, pulled me out of my seat, and punched me in the gut. Why do you like this person? Other students watched as I stood up and kicked him in the junk. Surprised he has junk. He's like a... It, he looks like he's not wearing pants, and I don't know if that's just like the art style, or if he's actually not wearing pants. It's kindergarten? I shouldn't be too surprised, though. Before you knew it, I was hitting my crush over and over again, and the teacher and TA had to break up the fight, and then I turned into a demon. <laughs> After school, both our mothers talked to us with the teachers about anti-violence. That was how I tackled my first crush, or rather how we tackled each other. Eh, alright. Your experience ending one to three. Bonus story. Okay. A Kickstarter campaign for Diary of the Naked Truth. Your experience is going on. I just checked. Oh, yeah. Hey, don't plug it like this. Don't, don't plug it like this. Don't plug it like this. I, I, I'm skipping this. I'm skipping this. How do I fully skip this? This is like pure shilling. Is that even the word I'm looking for? This this is ham-fisted. I'm sorry, I'm not into it. This is not part of the story. Not right now. And... We're done with that. Okay. Uh, is there one that's a little more normal <laughs> than this? Maybe? We're gonna do... I have a boyfriend I never met. Should I be concerned? You have zero, I have a boyfriend I've never met pages. Oh, I gotta buy it? No thanks, uh... Do I want to? Apparently the first page is free. Uh, wait, can I... Oh, it's getting... Oh, my scroll wheel doesn't actually... Yeah, um... One gripe I have about this game is that it's only on mobile, and I can't play it on PC, so, like, if there's ever, like, a P if you ever, like, make a PC version, please, uh, maybe make it in, like, RenPy, where if I scroll wheel or something, it gives me, like, a history, or, like, is this a history? Is this a history? No, that's a bookmark. Okay, how about a history thing? Nope, no history button. Okay, maybe add a history button. So I can, like, reread something I may have accidentally tapped or clicked over. Super awkward date. Something about a, being in a heterosexual relationship? Are we, like, not hetero? I mean, not that that's a problem or anything. I'm just like... It's a weird way to establish that you're not hetero. It's like, why am I in a heterosexual relationship? It's like... I, I guess maybe that's fine. I don't know. It just seems odd to me. Years ago, I'm fine. Now this is your experience. I'm not gonna be a yeah. Oh, this is free, is it? On any ordinary day, I was on my way to early morning math tutoring class. So I woke up around 6.30 to get ready. Class started around 6 or 6.30. What? You wake up at the time you're supposed to be there? I'm sorry, that's not how that works. That's not how that works, unless you live there. Why would you live at school? I don't remember it. That day, like most days, I showed up for the class after it was over. 
When I showed up to greet my best friend, she let me know right away that I had a boyfriend. My best friend's name was... Let's say her name was... Cherry Blossom. So she's a pony. Alright. Oh my goodness. Diary Pin! Good morning, Cherry Blossom. I know I missed class, sorry. You know, I don't care to show up to this crap. I know math. Yeah, explains why you're still in that class, but listen. I was all ears because she looked very excited for some reason. She was never this excited early in the morning, especially after doing math. You know, Cloudy. You know, from class. The class you didn't show up for. I said sorry already, CB. Let it go. I was curious now because she was bringing up Cloudy and the fact that I didn't show up to school as if it were something... Some kind of punishment waiting for me. The text didn't match the thing. I don't... That, that can't be intentional. What did you do? Cloudy's waiting for you outside of the classroom. I asked him out for you. You look like a purple demon. I don't like it. He's just sitting there right now waiting for his new girlfriend. Why do you do this to me? Well, I can't play anymore, and I'm not about to spend money. Sorry. Sorry! Um... Some of this? So, not some of this. How do I word how I feel about all that transpired? Um... It might be interesting to somebody, but this isn't really my cup of tea specifically. It's like, to the dev who sent me this, or the PR team? Who sent me this exactly? Oh, uh, the studio itself, so this was the dev. Um, to the dev who sent me this, I'm sorry, but this isn't my cup of tea specifically. I'm still going to post the episode, as you probably already know. It's already up on YouTube, and I DM'd you it. Um, yeah, this, this isn't my cup of tea. I'm sorry. I feel like a few features are missing as well, like a history but a history button or a way to scroll through like all the messages I may have skipped. That's not necessary, I guess. It's just a little nitpick from things I've seen from other visual novels of this type. Um, the writing, I don't know if that was a writer in studio or if that was, like, testimonials, but some things are kind of, like, some of the explanations are a little weird to me. Not, like, trying to shit on anyone's dreams or anything, but this isn't really for me. And I'm hoping that everyone watching this uh, kind of has that kind of vibe as well and doesn't, like, go out of their way to... Say negative things about it? Like, just because we don't like- Just because I don't like it, just because you don't like it, doesn't mean that it's bad for everybody, okay? That's how I'm taking it. And I'm gonna end the episode here. Uh, there will not be a part two to this. I don't have the money to pay for this game. I'm not gonna pay for- th I, I don't have money anymore. COVID's kind of, like, made my bank account nil, so let's not do that. Uh, in the meantime, thank you guys for coming by. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to these fine people for supporting me on Patreon and Twitch. And I think that was my outro. <laughs> it's been so long since I did a YouTube outro. How should I... How, how do I do this again? I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!